This is the Tech Podcast Network. If it's tech, it's here. I'm going to show you some awesome way that you can connect with terabytes of storage from your home from anywhere else in the world. You're watching CES 2014 coverage of the Tech Podcast Network. TPN.TV partners include DropCam.com and their newest cloud-based web cameras. Visit TPN.TV slash DropCam. Hi, I'm Daniel J. Lewis from the Audacity to Podcast.com, part of the Tech Podcast Network. I'm here with Anthony from Western Digital, and I'm, we're going to talk about this new product that you have called MyCloud, and it's more than just an external hard drive. So, Anthony, please explain to me what MyCloud is. Sure, so MyCloud uh, is a external hard drive that you connect to your router that allows you to save all your content on here and then access it from anywhere, uh, whether it's in your home or whether it's on the road with your Mac or PC or mobile devices, you can access all your content, whether it's your media files that you're storing or your pictures you took on your vacation, or your documents that you need a quick access to. You can do it uh, anywhere, wherever you are. Okay, so the, the main thing I think is external hard drive means plug it into a computer. Mm -hmm. But I take my computer with me. How does my cloud solve that? So that's that's a great thing about these is they, they're they like many computers. So there's an operating system and a processor on there and you plug it right into the router and it has no uh, connection to your computer. So it runs 24 seven connects to your router and you can access it within your home or outside your home uh, wirelessly or uh, outside you know, through uh, 3G, 4G connections. So on my computer remotely, how would it show up as I try to access my data? So we have uh, mobile apps, uh, MyCloud mobile app for iOS and Android, so you can access uh, through those devices. Or we have a MyCloud desktop app you can access through your Mac or PC. Just download the app from our online learning center and quick connect to your, your MyCloud, then you can access that anywhere you are. If you're in a Starbucks, you need quick access to your, your latest music or photos you've taken, easy to do right from our MyCloud desktop app. Is there any kind of limit to what kind of files you can access from this drive? No, no, any, any files you store and any kind of content uh, you can access through our files. And the nice thing about these is it's agnostic whether you're on a Mac or PC. It doesn't, you don't have to format it or anything. It just knows what you're on. So it, it's uh, very, we, we kind of obfuscate that from the end user. So it's kind of for those who want to have their own cloud but I, mean, I even see that, personal yeah. cloud storage. It's right it's there on your cloud. logo, yeah. Uh, so you've got two different models here. Tell me the differences between these and what their potentials are. Sure, so the, the MyCloud is a single drive product, comes in two, three, and four terabytes. Uh, th that's a entry level product that we sell to all the uh, mass channels like the Best Buys and Office Depots and all that. And then the MyCloud EX4 is more for your creative professional advanced feature set. Uh, it, it, you know, it has a RAID 5 capability. And we sell this with and without drives. So it comes in what we call an unpopulated version. So you can build your own with your own drives. Uh, we, of course, recommend WD Red drives in it. And then we sell populated versions, 8, 12, and 16 terabyte, fully populated with WD Red drives. Uh, the user, when they, when they turn it on, power it on, they don't have to do anything. It's up and running right from the get-go. And this comes with an advanced feature set for not only the creative professional, but a small office that can take advantage of the feature set in the EX4. And in the EX4, what's the storage capacity on it? Potential? Uh, so again, it's unpopulated, eight, 12, and 16 terabyte versions. Okay, great. And I love Western Digital as a brand. I've used Western Digital hard drives for quite a while. I've been very, very happy with them. I have some very old drives that still work today. <laughs> But I'll be right back as we discuss some pricing and availability on these. Let me tell you about DropCam. DropCam makes this amazing camera that's very simple to use. You simply set it up, which is super easy. I say simply because it is simple to do. You set it up and you can be live streaming either a public or a private stream. This works great for family events, for security, for monitoring your children or your pets while you're gone. You can access the stream through a computer, through a mobile device like an iPhone or an Android phone or a tablet. It is really easy and affordable for you. Check out tpn.tv slash dropcam 
for more information and to order your own. That's tpn.tv slash dropcam and you'll discover how easy it is to set up and get up to 30 days of recording. tpn.tv slash dropcam. Now, these are some great options here, both for the regular home professional or maybe those who are producing lots of multimedia. Tell me about the pricing, availability, and options for both of these. Sure. The, um, the MyCloud product comes in a two terabyte starting at 149, three terabyte 179, and four terabyte 219. It's a very affordable. Yeah, I was going to say that that's amazing pricing. I was thinking you would start above 200, but that for the built in MyCloud, that's a great price, really. Right. And the nice thing about these is they both have USB 3 expansion ports on them. So if you do run out of content, you can just simply plug in a My Passport or a My Book type of drive and expand the storage on the drives. And then on the EX4? So the unpopulated uh, starts at $349 for the unpopulated up to $1,149 for the 16 terabyte. That's great. Well, thank you very much. And where can people go for more information about these or to purchase them? Uh, WD.com. They can find uh, uh, as much information as they need on both products there. Great. Anthony, thank you very much. Thank you. I'm Daniel J. Lewis from the Audacity to Podcast.com. Check out more about this in the notes and watch for more of our CES 2014 coverage at tpn.tv.